Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at how to landscape a building, how to add aesthetics to the building to what you have designed already. You know, you have actually designed this particular building. I've put the roof, the concrete facial, the windows and doors and everything required for the building. So currently we'll be looking at how to actually add aesthetics, how to landscape the building according to your choice we will be showing you a general way of actually doing it so you go back to your ground floor plan first thing i'll able to do is to actually define our boundary like using fence to define our boundary of the building so we'll make use of fence we'll make use of wall for fence so once you click on wall or double click on wall you leave the height as 3600 it should go down minus 600 no the dpc is 600 so which is below the current story so now it's coming to this particular fence we go below which is minus 600 and you leave the paint at point 14 you click ok you come and define the boundary yes, right now what i'm doing now is to define the boundary of my design i'm going to define the boundary like creating something like a compound to the building i've designed can be of any size then maybe yeah i can create something like a fence let me create something like a gate around here so i use ctrl shift d to drag a copy to make so this one is now able to be a gate to build it so i can actually see what i've done wow see what i've done in the Fence. So this is the fence I've created, which means I've created, I've actually defined the boundary for landscaping. So I've defined the boundary for landscaping. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to actually place green areas like grass. So to actually place grass or green areas to a building, first of all, you make use of mesh. Mesh is a tool that a design tool that helps in creating mesh. So perhaps creating green areas. You know. When it comes to green areas, we have a top surface, which happens to be what? Green. We have to have a grass-like material. Then we have a white surface, which happens to be something like a white painted material or a white and black material. So in this particular design, I also have a bottom surface, which we don't see, which is like the earth itself. So when you double click on match, the first thing you do is to actually place your, your height of your mesh. So since my height of my mesh here is 120, remember that the depth or the height of our DPC is 600. So our mesh is coming on top of the DPC, immediately on top of the DPC. So and its height is 120. So which means the current story is going to land on will be 480, which shows that 480 is what? 600 minus 120. That's the first test that you do on geometric positioning. The second test has to do with model, which has to do with what I've spoken earlier on the top material, the skirt material, which happens to be the height, the material on the height or the, or the elevation part, then the bottom, the bottom material, which is made of made of earth. So this particular floor linon floor linoleum checkered is that black and white paint materials that separate the green areas from the pavement. So let's place it on the compound while we actually see. So to actually place the mesh on the compound, on the green area of the compound, just look at what I do here. I'll come to an edge, a defined edge, to start creating. Go to another defined edge. See, this is where the gate will be, so I'll stop here. Go like this. We are doing a very simple landscaping. You can zoom to see clearly. So I, I press space, backspace to undo. A movement I have done which is not correctly then i'll close back you know that hammer head that i show you means you are closing 
we have done a very simple landscaping and can actually make this edge to be curved or very close once you click on this black button here you come to where fillet or chamber you go to fillet we have to be the curved edge and make it about 1600 that's created a curve edge you can soon apply the same thing here so i can also do put green areas as well in the part closer to the building so for flowers actually so i'm doing another design for flowers then you go back and close it why is not continue because this is the entrance this is the step so there can't be any green areas at the step side of the design so i repeat the same thing here So let's see what we have done. Wow. Wow. This is what we have done. I see that the house now is now looking a little bit lively. It's looking lively. You can see the entrance. You can see that a car can actually park at this side of the house. Why is that car inside of the house? And there are spaces for flowers. And what have you so we have successfully placed the green areas on this house so right now in that now all have to do is to change this plain article background to a pavement to a pavement you can see this, this is an article background this white background there is just plain so let me make it a pavement what i'll do is to come back to my ground floor Go to slab, click on the settings, the default settings, put the height on 25 and the material on LS8, on an item material, then click OK. But I'm going to send the slab to minus 600. So to come immediately below the DPC. So from one edge, click, put it as a square, put it as, put it as a square ge geometry. Then you close it at the other end. So let's see the difference that this particular step made. Wow. This particular step now created a pavement on the design. So currently now you can see what has happened to the design is now more lively, looking more sharp and better. So the next thing I would love to do now is to actually do some aesthetics in the design. Still do some little bit of landscaping. So what I will do here is just to add rooms to this part of the house, then place some cars, um, flowers, and what have you. So come back to my ground floor plan. Once I come back to my ground floor plan, I click on objects, double click on object. Then I'll, I saw a flower part 16. Click OK, but change the settings, send it down to minus 480 okay so i'll start clicking right now I'm placing flowers something like a fax flower beside the house for aesthetics to add give to the house so and actually Check our other YouTube videos on how to render a house using Agicard, even Atlantis, Lumion, and what have you. I'm adding flowers to this house using Agicard. You can as well add flowers to your house using Atlantis, using other rendering softwares like Lumion, Twinmotion. So I've added flowers to my house. Next thing I'd love to do is to actually add rails to this part of the entrance. When I come to object, I'll double click that object. I will search for rail. I'll 
I'll search for real, click real. Once I click on real, different designs of real will pop out. I'll click on the one I, I love best for my work. So I click on real post with bars, then do some changes. Okay, I would love to start from zero. Then the way settings, the are okay for me. I love to change this to circular handrails and increase the post to three. Change this to the circular handrails. Then the handrail, let's change it to golden color. The post as well to golden. Then the black star as well to gold. Make it more pleasant to the eyes. Then I click OK, then place the rails. We really have to, we have to, really have to enter inside the wall a bit while construction is happening. So the same thing happens here. Wow. So you can see the rules we have created. And you can also see the flowers in the house as well. So we are actually seeing beauty what we have designed. So currently now nobody no one can actually pass through here or fall out through here. We really have created a kind of demarcation. This is the only legal entrance to the house. So in the last thing I would love to do is to actually add cars. To actually add cars to the house. And maybe one or two human beings. But first of all, let me actually add a lamp. Let me add a lamp to the house. If you add a lamp to the house, you come down to lamp. You pump I will click that lamp. Interior lamps, you see a kind of chandelier. When you click on chandelier, the height is 500. I know the height of my building is actually 3 meters, which is 3,000 millimeters. So see the height is 500. If I'm minus it from 3,000 millimeters, I'll have 2,500 millimeters. So it is actually going to a height of 2,500 millimeters. Settings you can do, then you click and show all in 3D. You can see the channel is a bit down. You can actually edit it here by clicking on the channel, then Ctrl D. You can raise it up. The desired point. So I think I'm satisfied with this point. So you can see the chandler look making the house also more beautiful. So the next thing I love to do now is to add a car, maybe trees to the design. So we'll come back to objects and search for car. C A R. We can see some kind of card in the card. So click on this. I can increase the height about one five. Since the position is okay. Can I insert the car to your design? We insert another type of car as well. The white one. Let's see if we also insert trees to our design just to add a testic. So let's look for trees if there are trees here. So we can see some trees I can actually add to the design. I think it's much bigger. We can actually reduce the size. So about Five thousand. I'm just about six five. 
by 65. I want to multiply it with the other side. Let's see. Wow. Wow. The house now looks a little bit lively. But one thing of that is that the cars are actually flying. Remember that whenever you are inserting something, it will actually go minus 600. Because this is where the ground floor is, it's still below 600. So I'll go back to my cars and every object I've highlighted. I will send them back to minus 600. We start from the ground level, which means the pavement level. We should start from the pavement level, which should be minus 600. minus 600 remember any object you are adding should be sent to minus 600 so can i see that everything has now come to the ground level and see the cars and the trees everything looking very very great so this is actually the step on actually on how to render or rather landscape a building there are many other ways to landscape as well this is just a very rough and a very quick one you can check on our youtube channel to actually learn massively ways on how to landscape a building do well to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel hit also on, on our notification button to get notified on new videos to come from time to time also comment on this comment section your views, your questions. See you in the next video.